That combination does seem to have a lot of activity. Um, we've, we've read out the phase two and, and um, uh, the phase three as well, and, and although the, it's still premature on the, on the primary endpoints. But um, you know, having a lot of experience with that um, from the trials, I do tend to think it's one of the more tolerable of the regimens that of, of any of the combinations actually and if you look at grade three four um, adverse events it tends to be on the lower side maybe in the 40s compared to say 50s and 60s that you might see with uh, the combinations so perhaps you know it will have a role especially in patients who are maybe more frail um, and you want to and quality of life is is more of a goal um, and you know, to be fair, I think the CR rates in that combination looks pretty fav pretty reasonable too. So, uh, so to answer your question, I think yes, it'll probably get approved, and yes, it'll complicate things and make things uh, even more uh, harder for us to decide. But um, it, 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 that's always a good thing for patients.